Hey everybody, today I wanted to share with you a quick little electric vehicle project that I worked on. I got a free junk kids ATV uh, from a neighbor that I wanted to fix up for my daughter. Uh, it was kind of nice. I was just able to throw it right in the back of my car and take it home. Now, of course, the handlebars were not attached. The steering was rusted up. The brake was rusted up. Uh, it has a 350 watt 24 volt motor and I started taking it apart of course uh, PB blast ring the brake and the steering right away uh, down here we can see the motor with little chain to the rear axle and it's using just a very basic straightforward electric bike controller one thing I had to do was get this crummy little fake plastic engine cover off because under there is the batteries this was a pair of seven amp hour SLA batteries uh, the connectors on there were soldered on and hot glued on. Uh, clearly, the manufacturer did not want people to be able to replace the batteries in here. Uh, seven amp hour battery, what I ended up doing was cutting the connectors and then putting jumper cables to a 24 volt battery pack. This is the throttle. Working? Yeah. That's the throttle right there. You want to try it? Try it, spin it. Oh. Yay! It's a working ATV. It just needs new batteries. I replaced the original 7 amp hour batteries with a pair of new 15 amp hour batteries and just kind of set them in place to get a feel for where they might go in the vehicle here. And I put new uh, crimp on terminals, including a new fuse. I still didn't have handlebars though, so I used a pair of uh, vice grips, clamped them both on, and that actually worked surprisingly well for temporary steering. I got steering. Yeah, I got throttle and brake. The ATV was now drivable, barely. Uh, also, the battery was just uh, held in place by zip ties for the moment, but I mail ordered some of those uh, clamps to hold the handlebars on. And with the handlebars reinstalled, uh, certainly much easier to steer and use the throttle and brake. I also mail ordered a battery charger, just an inexpensive generic one, 24 volt charger. Although the main thing was that it had the proper three pin connector on it so that I could just plug it right into the ATV and have it charge without having to do any other rewiring. Uh, charge at about 75 watts. And with some charge on it, uh, this was basically ready for use. What do you think of it? I love it! Of course, I wanted her to be safe on it, which meant bribing her by buying her a brand new unicorn helmet at the store, which uh, she absolutely does love. And hey, if it gets her to wear a helmet, fantastic. But the project wasn't done. Remember that one battery was only really just temporarily mounted in there. So uh, next I went back to removing the plastic body from the ETV uh, to try to figure out how I wanted to permanently mount these two larger than stock batteries. Uh, so I took out the batteries, flipped up the ATV on the side, got a look at it. And I thought maybe side by side, maybe that'll work. Uh, but side by side, there really wasn't quite enough room for a tie down while having everything back together. Then I thought maybe uh, one battery wide, one long. Um, I tested that and that looked like it would work pretty good. So I started building a mount by uh, cutting some metal to the right length of just a little bit longer than the battery. So I could drill a couple of holes and put a tie down over the top. Here's the two plates just kind of set there to test it all out with the batteries just to make sure it works before I do any welding here. Next, I actually drilled holes and then welded nuts onto the plate. I was kind of proud of this, frankly. Uh, I've got these nuts built right on there so I can run a quarter 20 bolt through and bolt the battery down real nice and solid to this plate. Here I've got the plate clamped to the frame and I'm gonna do a little welding. Uh, just a couple tack welds, get it in place and then permanently mount it down. Here's both the battery plates welded onto the frame. 
and then I primed them. I made sure to put a couple of bolts in there to keep uh, the paint out of the hole so you can see the threads are real nice and clean in those nuts that I welded on the plates. Then I put the batteries on, put the battery strap on. Uh, the first one I repurposed, the second one there I just made from scratch. Here's a good view of the, uh, the welding, the nuts, everything like that on the bottom. And you'll notice that the batteries are in place, but the cycle is literally on its side. Uh, it's all bolted down. I give it a few good shakes. Those batteries are not going anywhere. So with the battery mounts done, I could start putting the whole project back together. But I'm going to paint this first. So first thing was to scuff up the body and then give it a nice coat of primer. The little girl decided on a purple color. We grabbed purple from the hardware store, gave it two coats of purple paint. Uh, she's feeling pretty good about her color choice at this point. And then after that uh, was all dried up, of course, it was just a matter of uh, reassembling the whole thing again. So that's about it. Uh, she's really been having a blast riding this thing around the yard. Yes, I know she's barefoot here. Um, we're certainly working on having her uh, wear all the gear all the time. She was just really excited to uh, quick try this out once we got it all put back together. And certainly it was a lot more fun, a lot interesting, and a lot cheaper to uh, get this for free and fix it up than just to run out and buy a new one. Uh, both she and I got to learn quite a lot and have a bit of fun working on this project. I hope you like these videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, share with your friends. Also make sure to check out the description of the video where I always have links for you, including out to the blog at 300mpg.org. And until next time, stay charged up.